We're gonna do a quick mini Pilates session. So laying back, bend your knees, push in through those heels, lift the hips. We're just gonna hold here and bridge. If you're feeling this in the hamstrings, we wanna feel it in the butt. So walk those feet back towards your shoulders a little bit more until you feel the butt turn on. If you're feeling this in your back, you've probably lifted a little too high. So lower the hips until you feel the butt turn on and the back relax. Again, just holding here. Let's hold for another 10. Normally I'd say about a minute hold, 30 seconds to a minute. Five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, lower the hips, lift the feet. Exhale, feet come down, hips go up. Inhale, lower the hips, lift the feet. Exhale, feet down, hips up. Keep going here. If this motion, lifting both feet at the same time, starts to activate your low back, you should not be feeling your back here. So instead of lifting both at the same time, lift one at a time, then set them both down one at a time, and lift the hips. So find what feels best for you. Again, you should not feel your back here. You should feel all stomach. Let's do one more. Inhale up. Exhale, feet down, lift those hips. Inhale, lower the hips, roll over to one side. Let's go right side. Your stacked hips on top of one another. We're gonna let that left hip roll forward and we're gonna pin it into place. So imagine a beam running down from the ceiling coming in between both hips. You can't move, right? Because that beam's shooting right into that hip. So holding it in place, lift and lower just the top knee. Now, if you're not holding that hip in place, it's really easy to try to go for height and let that hip open up. So we're keeping this hip locked in, lift, lower, lift, lower. If you wanna add on to this, you can lift those feet into a diamond position. So as we open, you can see I'm tracing or creating a diamond between my legs. Inhale, let that knee come down, tap the other one. While you're doing this, still pushing that hip forward so that it doesn't roll back with you. Let's go for another five, four, three, two, last one. Now, lower the feet. We're going to relax our upper body. Take that top leg long, push the hip away. So if I do this without pushing my hip away, you'll notice it's all in the stomach. But if I push my hip away and actively draw it away, I can't get my foot up as high, but now I'm gonna feel it in my butt as opposed to stomach and back. So drawing that hip away, lift, lower. Turn that toe to point down just slightly so that the heel is leading the way. You should feel this right in the butt. So we're hanging out here. We'll go five more. Again, normally I'd say 30 seconds to one minute if you have a clock on you to keep track. I'm just quickly leading you through all these, but these are all great to do longer if you have the time. One more. Let's go into pendulum. So lift that leg to about hip height. Exhale, bring it forward, pulse. Inhale, take it back pulse. Now, as I take it back behind me, I'm not getting into my back. So I'm only extending back far enough where I feel my butt turn on without getting into my back. That means my stomach also has to stay tight. And I have to think about my upper body staying in control and not really moving. I'm just moving from the hip joint. Again, 30 seconds to one minute on this side. We're going to do one more before we get into our circles, get excited. So again, you can prop your head up if you want, but if you have wrist issues, you might as well keep it down on the ground so you don't create that unnecessary strain on the wrist. Your top arm is gonna be a kickstand. You can see my top leg is still lifted about hip height. I'm gonna start tracing a circle about the size of a softball. I'm going forward. I'm just gonna go 10 times, but again, 30 seconds is what I would normally prescribe. That's about four. I say 10 times and I have no idea because I wasn't counting, but there's seven, <laughs> eight, nine, and 10. Take it backwards, same size, so just a softball. Three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight. You don't want to pause at all in this movement, so keep moving. Now we're going to bring it forward again, tracing the size of a beach ball. So a little bit bigger, maybe a basketball, a little bigger, bigger than a basketball. Tracing around. These are medium sized circles. We're not shifting forward and back with our upper body. Our upper body staying totally stable. I'm going to say five, six, seven, two more. Once we finish this last one, we just shift and go backward into those backward circles. Same thing, my stomach is staying tight, so I'm not moving forward and backward with my hips or my upper body. Five. After this, we get to do forward circles. We're gonna go big this time. Ready? The last one, take it big. So exhale, do the first half of the circle, going back first. Inhale as you complete that circle. Exhale, start over. Notice I'm not pausing at the bottom, so I continue that movement throughout. Exhale, inhale. If I'm going quickly, I must be hyperventilating. So slow down that movement, work with your breath. Here's five, six, seven, eight, nine. Last one, at the bottom of this one, I'm just gonna change directions. Exhale forward, inhale down and around. Here's two, so working from that hip joint. Here's three, keep going. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Last one, just when you thought you were done, you're not. Keep your legs where they are. Bring your arms up into plank position as if you were going into plank, but not moving the lower body. Inhale, pull the knee towards your chest. Exhale, press it back behind you slightly and lift. Inhale, tuck it in. Exhale, back, lift. These are calorie-free, guilt-free cinnamon buns. Such a great name. Three, four, we're doing 10, five, six, seven, eight, two more, nine, oh my goodness, it's burning, and 10. Come on to all fours. Bird dogs, but I'm just gonna have you do this left leg, the one you were just working. Right arm down, out in front, left foot back. Exhale, keep that stomach tight, lift. Inhale, tap down. Exhale, lift. Inhale, tap down. Here's three. Think about reaching the fingertips and the toes so far away from one another that your leg and arm just naturally come off the ground because you're just stretching so long. It's not a lift as much as a stretch. Seven, eight, nine. Last one. Keep that leg lifted. Set the hand down. Bend the knee 90 degrees. My foot is flexed. I'm going to lower down. Exhale, lift back up. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift 10 times. Here's seven. Actually, that's probably eight. Seven. <laughs> If I'm doing the math right, six, five. Make sure I'm not arching my back so I'm staying tight, which means I won't be able to lift as high, but now I'm gonna feel it in the butt as opposed to the back. Three, two, last one. Hold at the top, pulse, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Knee comes in. Fire hydrant, straight out to the side and in. Exhale, lift, inhale, lower. 
four, five. I'm not shifting my body weight into that right leg, so I'm not collapsing. Trying to keep my body weight even among the three limbs that are on the ground. I think you have four more, let's say. Three, doing a terrible job counting today. And last one, keeping that left leg forward, reach back with the right, pull the left leg through for half pigeon stretch. So we're gonna go into a variation of half pigeon. You can start here. The more parallel you can get that foot with your knee, the more you'll feel this stretch in the hip. If you have it tucked back, you might still feel the hip, but you're not gonna feel it quite as much. So try to get that foot up. Then take your right hand to the outside of that foot, drive into it as you reach across with the left hand. Hanging out here, I'd say one to two minutes if you have time for that. Obviously right now we're gonna go for a little bit less time, but if you have more time, please do so. And we're just gonna drop onto that hip and transition straight to the other side for clamshells. So stacking my hips, that pole is running through. I'm not letting my hips rock side to side. Stack it, hold it, lift and lower. Just the top knee. So I should be feeling the glute lift, not my back, not my stomach, just into the butt. If you wanna make this harder, lift the feet for diamonds. So much fun, so much glute work. Do you feel those glutes on fire? You should. If you don't, I don't know what you're doing, but you're not doing what I'm doing. Let's do three, two, one. Lower those legs, extend that top leg, push, like physically push that hip bone down. Turn the toe down, heel up, exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. I'm gonna relax my head down to the mat. That's totally fine to do so. It is better for your wrist, so do what feels best for your body. But if you're like, I can't see you and you need to prop up, that's fine too. Let's do three more, two more. Last one, keep it about hip height. Exhale, take it forward. Pulse, inhale back, pulse. You can use your top arm as a little kickstand. You don't want full body weight into it, but just holding you into place so you're not shifting with that upper body. It's a good little reminder or a good physical cue to keep you engaged throughout the entire core. Exhale forward, inhale back. Inhale, or exhale, sorry, inhale. Last one, then we get into our leg circles, get excited. So starting with that softball, tracing forward, about 10 times, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, take it backward, one, two. It's amazing how quickly these 10 go compared to the big circles, right? Let's take a lot longer. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Take it forward, medium size, tracing that beach ball. Two, three, four. This hip is almost dreading the rest of the workout because I know what's coming up now, right? And you're like, oh, do I really want to do this side or am I okay being lopsided? Last one, take it backward. 10, woo, nine, eight, seven. We have our big circles coming up next. They're gonna be so fun. Four, three, two, 
Last one, take it forward, big circles. Exhale, up and around. Inhale, down, complete the circle. Now, as you do this, it's really easy to cheat, right? You would just kind of lean up and then use that hip flexor to lift. You don't want to do that. You don't want to cheat. You're only cheating yourself. So really make sure that hip stays pointing forward. Whoo! I think that's four. Seven. Eight. Nine. And 10. Complete the circle, change directions. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Oh my goodness, it hurts so good. Exhale up, inhale down. Here's three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Last one before we get into cinnamon buns. Oh my goodness, here we go. Coming into plank with the arms, extend that leg, inhale, bend up to the chest, exhale, push it back and lift. Inhale forward, exhale back and lift. Here's three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, last one. Okay, coming on tall fours. So extending that right leg back, left arm forward. Keep the stomach tight. Inhale, tap it down. Exhale, extend. Inhale, tap. Stretch them away from one another. Here's three. Make sure that hip isn't rotating open as well. So hip stays pulling down. Here's five, six. You're looking right between the hands or where the hands would be on the ground so that your neck isn't dropping down. Last one and lower. From here, keep that leg lifted bend, inhale, lower the knee, exhale, lift, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, only lift as far high as you can without getting into the back, three, two, on this last one, you're gonna hold at the top, pulse 10, nine, eight, foot is flexed, keep it going, five, four, three, two, one, bring it down, we're going to go straight out to the side, back in, letting that knee come above the foot, three, four, not even making you pulse at the top on this one, this isn't so bad, six, seven, eight, make sure you're not caving into that left hip, and 10. Step back with that left leg, pull the right leg forward for half pigeon stretch. Again, variation on this one. You're gonna use that left hand, push into the foot. Oh, so tight. <laughs> push into the foot and then reach the right arm across. Hold here, one to two minutes. Ooh, or if that's just too much, which it is for me right now, you just come to the middle. So find what works best for you, hold one to two minutes and enjoy.